Hey, what's up guys? Alex here in the western end of downtown Toronto here at the intersection of uh, Adelaide Street West and Portland Street. Uh, it's a very, very uh, busy area full of uh, restaurants, uh, cafes. It's always lively here on the weekends. And uh, sometimes this part of town or this part of downtown is always seen as a uh, one of the best nightlife uh, spots of the city, although most of that's on King, but <coughs> excuse me, I, I noticed, uh, you know, walking by the restaurants and bars are definitely suitable for nightlife. As you can see, it's a little bit of an overcast day, though not so depressing because, I mean, the sun was out, but it's gone now. And uh, I just had uh, myself pretty much a late lunch. <laughs> At Perch Street Pizza, again. Why? Because not only it's the best pizzeria in Toronto, but I was just craving it again. The pizza, the, the slices there, they're one of the best I've ever had in this city. It's just amazing. Really, really amazing. But yeah, Perch Street Pizza orig originated in uh, Manhattan. I mean, I didn't go to the original location when I visited three months ago. But it's it's a really really good uh, pizza shop. It's freaking amazing. And uh, it's ironic because not even just not even like a, a block south of here I was making a walking video on uh, Wellington Street, and they stopped by the well, hung it around for a bit. Not sure, thinking of like what else I should do. I didn't make any videos after that. And then I slowly went home uh, before I got caught in the rain, though I, though I didn't really get soaked. It's interesting because, you know, I didn't even know it was going to rain hard last night. On top of that, we got a freaking thunderstorm. And that was, like, as I was going home, Liam and Sapan started their respective live streams and uh, they met up late Saturday night. You know, I would have said it longer if it wasn't even raining. But, uh... What else? I was already heading home. So, here is uh, Branch Street. And by the way, that is a new, uh, there's a new uh, food hall inside uh, uh, the old waterworks uh, building. And there's, uh, I believe that's uh, Richmond Street over there. And if you're wondering what I did today, I just went on an impromptu bus ride along Eglinton Avenue along the uh, long uh, much of Line Five, pretty much from like Cedarville to uh, Kennedy via Eglinton Station, and uh, I, I did I did make a bus ride video, you know, on my usual on my usual side, because I didn't expect any trains to be testing uh, on a Sunday, because today is uh, the uh, because it is a Sunday afternoon. Ooh, I gotta come back here and check out those elevators. They look interesting. I thought they were northern for a second. There's an idea. I'll have to come back here. Uh, on a weekday. And there weren't any train testing. And normally I despise the 34, not as much as the 54. But the only reason why I did it today is because, you know... It's less busier than a, on, a, on a weekday, and much faster. But who knows when we'll be able to take that all the way across, seriously. I am starting to uh, make some video plans for when the opening dates are announced for both lines five and six, then how I'm gonna document the line before it's open, and, and then, you know, after. Because I am gonna be making a freaking shit ton of videos on that line, seriously. There's, there's just so much especially if I live like right next to the line it's a long time coming and of course uh, and then uh, two days ago the, the province announced that that uh, construction on uh, line 6 has uh, has been completed every single stop station now we're just in the commissioning and testing works although I did say on my members uh, page uh, you know, unsurprisingly they don't have an opening date but I'm really thinking, like, how should I document both lines before opening, after? 
Like, I'm really gonna be tempted to do shit. Here's Spadina Avenue. Busy as usual. Chinatown is just a bit north of here. I'm gonna stay on the south side for the time being. Let's see, maybe later uh, we'll uh, cross to the other side. I wrote a uh, mid-2017 uh, Novel LFS down there. At least it was a unit I haven't even uh, been on yet. The 510 is not... It's not the only route that's being served by buses. Also the 509. But it's only going to be for a short while as they're doing uh, overhead catering work. And TDC says that they're going to have streetcars up and running uh, in time for uh, Taylor Swift uh, concerts, which are expected to draw, oh my God, so many people here, probably from across the country. Vancouver, Alberta, Montreal, Ottawa, Maritimes, all the way here. So we're going to really be experiencing a lot, a lot of people. I cannot wait to see it. It's probably like freaking six millions uh, uh, visiting here uh, for Taylor's uh, six shows. Look at that here. That's interesting. This is uh all the flowers are blocking the street sign. Charles something. Oh wow. Noticing there's several elevators in these buildings again. I'm gonna have to come back here on a weekday and uh, check them, check them all out. They all look interesting. I'm gonna make a mental note because I won't remember because I don't remember the addresses. There's Peter Street. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk all the way to uh, Young Street and I'm not going to do anything else after. I think I'm just going to head home. I don't even plan on being out tomorrow to long at all. Plus I got school tomorrow so I got to get up. I got to get my ass up uh, 7 in the morning. Almost kind of bumped into me there. Whew. I mean, people definitely gotta watch uh, where they're freaking going, eh? Yeah, like, they, like, there's another elevator I just saw from the street here. Now I got some opportunities. So maybe I could just come back here this week. Scout this whole uh, area. Although, unfortunately, it looks like the... Most of them have been modernized. You know what, since my sun is not out, I'm just gonna put my, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take off my freaking sunglasses. Seriously. Like, I really don't need them anymore. <laughs> it's not much, uh, really isn't much uh, glare coming this way. There's the CN Tower. Of course, I'm making this video to walk off uh, the two big uh, square slices I just had. Very delicious. Okay, this is literally... Now, this is actually uh, most of Toronto's nightlife is. Oh, there's a Hooters restaurant. And then there's a Fox... Then there's a Fox pub uh, around the corner that I've been to uh, two years ago.
No, it wasn't looking at me. And here is John Street. I saw that uh, T Shots is live again. Last time I checked, she was at the Bentway, so I might have missed her by an hour. And I did see that Sapan and Liam, they did meet up with uh, uh, Tara because she did her own live stream uh, last night. Come on. What the fuck, dude? Idiot. Wow. Almost hit her in front of us. Yeah, I got you on camera, asshole. <laughs> you have a good day, man. Okay, I don't think I should have dropped the F-bomb because there, were, there was like a kid there. My God, man, seriously. We were trying to cross almost in front of her. He had the fucking audacity to like turn in front of us. What a, what an asshole prick. Don't let my swearing fuck off. Go watch something else. People, people these days, man. Toronto drivers, like this is Toronto. This is what you're gonna see. Ridiculous, man. Oh, look, another one in there. Really gonna be looking out. To... Now here is uh, Duncan Street. Hey, now at least nobody is uh, freaking surrounding me. I can just walk freely. <laughs> it is a smokes uh, patinery here. I had it once. Because last month uh, they they uh, they were actually giving out. Uh, uh, smokes for me for free at uh, uh, Young Dundas Square. And so I met with Liam and uh, we tried it. It was pretty good. All right. We're nearing to uh, university. I see some construction up ahead, so I think I'm gonna cross to the other side. Wow. One thing we can never get tired of freaking construction everywhere. I bet you that's another reason why uh, people moving out of this freaking city. All right, now we're gonna be approaching the city's uh, financial district. And it's gonna be a very, very busy spot tomorrow. There's so many people, office workers, gonna be commuting down here, working their freaking nine to five jobs. I'm one of Canada's tallest skyscrapers. Here it is, University Avenue. But again, we're gonna continue all the way to uh, Young Street, which isn't even far. And I'm gonna, I can go into Eber Station, but I'm gonna go to the one that's closest and that being King. And uh, they got the, uh, they got an, uh, their own left turn signal here. So we gotta wait.
a little bit thirsty though. I kind of wanted to uh, go to Starbucks, but yesterday I had like a nice cappuccino. My school has a uh, Starbucks. Maybe I'm gonna grab that instead. And also Henry was, uh, Henry was live uh, this morning walking around downtown. And then I think uh, some of her uh, viewer joined him. I don't even know. Like, I don't even know who he was. To be honest. That guy riding on the bike. He sounds like Sapand. Obviously it's not him, but his voice really, really reminds me of him. You see that white skyscraper over there? That's first Canadian place. It's the tallest in the country. But soon it's going to be surpassed by one Blurice and then Pinnacle One Young, which are expected to have over 110 stories, respectively. So almost as tall as uh, the original uh, World Trade Center uh, towers where they uh, got destroyed in the 9 11 attacks. And they just did a lot of construction here. They like not only, like they rebuilt the whole friggin' street. They also um, rebuilt the streetcar tracks. Because eventually, streetcars, a uh, 501 streetcar is going to be diverting through here. Look, they got all the red paint uh, set up. Like I noticed this uh, Wednesday when I was with Henry. So that was all the construction for. I didn't really know it at first, but uh, luckily the guy done fast. Oh, look, there's a film crew here. Oh, man. Wow. I wonder what this is all for. Wow. They might have been filming some sort of TV show here. Wow, that's crazy. I mean, I didn't want to film the rest of it, though, because <laughs> I thought it would be interfering. Wow, I guess that's how they do it. That was incredible. I literally stumbled upon a set, a literal movie or TV set. Okay, well, if there was a movie, like, there'd be, like, so much more props, but it might have been some sort of, like, Netflix or Amazon Prime series. By the way, uh, Johnny, Johnny Strides, uh, he used to work at the skyscraper before COVID. And then during COVID was when uh, he decided to uh, move to YouTube full-time. I think right now he's still in... Uh, South Korea, where he used to live. He used to be an English teacher from 2007 to 2014. I, uh, I did enjoy a little bit of his uh, Tokyo videos. I've been here once, the Cactus Club Cafe. I think I went there last year. Or is it? No. Because when I went there, oh yeah, yeah, I did go in February. It was in the winter. That was after uh, Andrew came back from his Alberta trip. Speaking of which, he's in New York City again. But he told me before, he, several weeks before he left, he was only going there the, this weekend to see a freaking Broadway show. So I don't know if he's coming back today or tomorrow. But if I had the, you know, if I had the money to spend like a weekend in Chicago, Chicago or Montreal. You know, I would totally do that, seriously. And here is uh, Bay Street. Old City Hall.
Oh yeah, I walked through here before, back on Wednesday. I did that lazy ass walking video around the financial district because I had no, I had no other, I didn't have any other ideas. I, I literally didn't. Well, anyways, I'm pretty much ready to go home. I gotta do some laundry. Gonna upload, edit, maybe do a little more uh, schoolwork, and then uh, get ready for uh, tomorrow. I don't know if I see myself working in any of these uh, office towers. It may look interesting, but you know, you're gonna be sitting on your desk whole time. I mean, having your own office seems sounds exciting. You may have your own side of privacy, but you need to be on the phone a lot. You need to be speaking with workers, all that stuff. And here we are at the very busy, always busy Young Street. That's where I'm gonna wrap up this video. So guys, uh, oh yeah, I was walking up here uh, yesterday too. Anyways, as I was saying guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, uh, stay tuned for more videos. Check out my offers as well. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Be well. Be good. Stay safe. And uh, sign era. Peace out. Bye-bye.